Hey, this is Charles 9mm. I got some great products to show you today. Some more things from uh, pipetobacco.com. And by the way, if you look at pipetobacco.com, it's also called Pipe Place. That's the name on the page. But their, um, their address, their web address is pipetobacco.com. And I, I get some things from there because I really love it. Got some great things to show you today that are really interesting that I haven't seen before. This is called the uh, Coffee Break Pipe. It's a little tiny pipe. You can see the perspective. If I hold it like this, it looks huge, but uh, it's actually very, very tiny. Uh, this is uh, old, new stock. Actually, I think this one was made in the 1970s in France, and it was for uh, coffee shops, a cafe, cafe pipe. And what it was meant for is if you had a short break and didn't have a lot of time and you just wanted to carry around a small, short smoke, uh, you would you would carry around one of these. Now I've got the, sh the short stem on this particular one and uh, you can remove this very, very easily and replace it with a longer stem and uh, just, uh, it's very nice. Just like that. Now both of the stems uh, are a little bit different. They have a little hole. I don't know if you can see that. A little hole drilled perpendicular to the uh, to the smoke hole. A little hole there. And uh, that's because of the shape of the pipe. The pipe has a little port that it goes in to give it uh, this deep sort of uh, an umpal sort of um, shape so it hangs down. Uh, it's a very nice pipe. Um, the one thing about this is it's very inexpensive. This is a right around $25, and you get the two stems with it. I think it's a great deal. This is real briarwood. Uh, it's, a, it's a natural color, kind of a natural finish on it as well, which I like very much. I, even though I've smoked it just a little bit, it's already started to darken on the outside, which gives it kind of a cool look. It's a very sophisticated pipe. You can see uh, that somebody uh, could be sitting in a cafe in Paris smoking one of these, you know, as he contemplates art and fashion. I'm also using one of these cool little uh, brass uh, tampers I also got from uh, pipetobacco.com. And uh, this shows that you can smoke a good pipe for very little money. Mm. It's a very cool smoking and dry smoking pipe. This is great for uh, a coffee break and if you're at work and uh, if you don't have a whole lot of time you can come and smoke one of these and if you need uh, space as an issue you can uh, put the smaller mouthpiece on it. I like the long one myself. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful pipe and it's a very, very nice design. I, I was a little skeptical when I first saw it, but uh, I have really fallen in love with it, and it's one of those pipes because of the price you're gonna probably overlook. But if you consider, especially for you cigarette smokers who are trying to kick the habit or to try to lower your cost, uh, for $25, you can get an excellent new old stock pipe. It was probably made me when I was in, you know, when I was a teenager or I was between uh, you know, uh, 10 and, and, and 19 years old, this pipe was made. It's beautiful. 25 bucks. You can get then a half pound of uh, an absolute fantastic tobacco, McBaron's uh, Virginia Number no. 1, which is a, really a smooth, sweet, natural tasting tobacco, which I, I love this tobacco. Uh, or even, uh, you know, the Stoker B uh, Virginia Long Cut, which is really smokes nice, what I have in here right now. And it's, these are just beautiful tobaccos. And all of this uh, for less than the price of a carton of cigarettes. And I don't think you're going to go through that like you would a carton of cigarettes. I think uh, that would probably last you a whole lot longer and without all the nasty additives and so forth. I'm not giving medical advice here. You, uh, you know, adults have to do what they have to do. But I'm telling you that uh, the, a beautiful pipe like this and tobacco cheaper than a, than a carton of cigarettes. And plus, a, really, I consider this a piece of art. It's just a, a really a nice, beautiful little pipe, a little piece of history. This was made in the, uh, the St. Claude uh, factory, I believe, in, in France, uh, which is, I don't think it's there anymore, but uh, they sure made some nice pipes. And what a price.
2015 and this is at this point it's like $25. I'm really enjoying this bike. Hmm. It's lightweight too. If you smoke slowly, slowly you can actually make it last longer. But it doesn't take up much uh, room. I can see somebody taking that on an airplane. You know, if you're going overseas or you're going to take a long business flight, you know, take that over. You don't have much room in your luggage. Get yourself one of those. Maybe put the short stem on it. And you have a beautiful pipe. Now, speaking of cost, there's nothing, nothing that beats the cost, the price of a co uh, corn cob. This, of course, is the, the famous Missouri Mersham. This is the Diplomat. And these corn cob pipes, are, I've got quite a few of these and they always 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 provide a superior smoke I, I love corn cobs because of that and people say well you burn them out you burn them out you know I've got some that are 20 years old that I've used myself I have one left over that my, my father used that's still serviceable still still smokable uh, if you take good care of them uh, and you don't, uh, you know, just sit there and puff till you burn the bottom out. You can make these things last for decades. Um, even the Missouri Mersham people are surprised how long people have, have kept them around just with good care and, you know, getting a proper cake and, and using, a, you know, good quality tobacco. Spend your money on the tobacco. Uh, tobacco is not terribly expensive even now. And you can get, like, a, here, a half pound for, like, you know, under 15 bucks. It's a lot of tobacco for fifteen dollars. You can save money. It's it's uh, just uh, tastes better. It uh, doesn't make your clothes all stink. It's not as a, uh, offensive, and you're not getting all those chemicals for whatever that's worth to you. Uh, just a much better idea, on, in my opinion. Now you're, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not a doctor or anything. I'm not giving medical advice. But if you're going to do it, you know, do it the best way in some way that's going to be really enjoyable. It's uh, there's a big difference between, you know, uh, smoking uh, cheap cigarettes and smoking a, a piece of history with fine quality tobacco. Um, it's like the difference between drinking uh, fine wine and, you know, rot gut whiskey. Uh, it's just a, a, a big difference, you know. I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll love this. It's just beautiful. This is actually one of my favorite pipes. It's probably my, one of my, besides my corn cobs, one of my cheapest. And the corn cobs are, are right up there as well. Love them. And it's nice you can get all of this at pipetobacco.com, uh, which is uh, when you get, open the page, like I said, that's the pipe place. Uh, I think you'll love it. The surface is great. Um, I also continue to just love my. My, my pouch that I got from there. They've got all kinds of things and all prices, ranges for everybody, and I think you'll enjoy it a lot. And, uh, you know, as usual, I'm, I'm very grateful for everybody watching this this uh, this channel. Thank you for watching these videos, and um, please subscribe and uh, give me some comments below. Let me know what you think or what you'd like to see in the future. Um, this has been a lot of fun, and um, I appreciate everyone's support for this. Thanks. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.